Hello. We're going to be trying something a little bit different this week. Um, I discovered some resources online uh, for talking about the nervous system. These are uh, produced by an MD PhD named Linnea Boyev. She is an amazing educator. Um, I flatter myself to think that I'm good at explaining things and this lady puts me to shame. She is so good at finding the most important pieces of information and highlighting them and explaining them in a way that's really uh, understandable and, and memorable. Uh, so we're going to take advantage of some of her resources. Uh, this is a short video that she produced about the effect of the autonomic nervous system on uh, different systems of the body. Um, this, the, the way the video is set up, it's focused on the sympathetic division and the effect that the fight or flight division of the autonomic system has on all the different organs. And you can imagine that the parasympathetic division have, would have the opposite effect. Uh, what we're talking about is um, the sympathetic division is uh, using the neurotransmitter norepinephrine and the hormone epinephrine. Uh, epinephrine is released from the adrenal glands it used to be known as adrenaline. Uh, we still use the name adrenaline when we talk about the receptors that are sensitive to epinephrine and to norepinephrine. So those receptors are referred to as adrenergic receptors. There are alpha and beta adrenergic receptors. When we talk about the beta one receptors on the heart, this is what we're talking about and the beta two receptors in the uh, smooth muscle of the bronchi. Um, and then the, the other part of uh, the uh, autonomic nervous system, and it, it, I, in case I didn't mention this already in the other lecture, um, autonomic, um, think autopilot, this is the stuff that's happening automatically. It still um, commands from our brain, but it's not stuff that's under our conscious control. And it's sending information out or, or signals out to the organs that are not under our conscious control, the muscles, the smooth muscle and the cardiac muscle. Um, all right, so that's the sympathetic division. The complementary part of this, of course, is the parasympathetic division. This one gets activated when it's time to rest and digest. The neurotransmitter uh, used here primarily is acetylcholine or acetylcholine. The uh, receptors that respond to acetylcholine are cholinergic receptors, and specifically the ones that are on the organs uh, that, um, that are related to the autonomic nervous system are choliner cholinergic muscarinic receptors. And without further ado, let us watch the video known as The Girl in the Forest. Um, I'm, I'm only going to play two and a half minutes of this video. Thank you. 
And that is what we will end with. The video goes on for another minute, but that's the most important part. And hopefully that recorded okay.